So I want to share with you how I'm using this tool and why it's so life changing for long form creators. So as up until now, none of the tools I've tested have addressed long form content. Even ChatGPT is spitting out only 500 words at a time. And let's face it, it's not all that great. The content it produces is very fluff filled. It's not that great. There's no flow here. There's nothing that I would even publish from this. This would have to be reworked so much. And a lot of the other tools out there that are layered on top of OpenAI are like that. You don't have flow. You don't have cohesion. You don't have story. So this is the first tool I've put to the test and I've actually seen long form content that I can use come from it. What's even better is the dashboard of this tool. Look at this. I have keywords. I know what to optimize. I know what keywords are missing from this article. Usually you either have to use a third party tool or you have to guess yourself and do the research yourself. So I can just type in a keyword. Keywords turn green. So it's really great. It's great for that alone. But why I want to walk you through how we're actually doing this. So first of all, when you sign up, you're going to be able to get a login to a dashboard and it looks like this. This is my dashboard. And to do this, of course, this is a paid tool, but the cost is insane. It's less than a penny per word. It's actually half a penny per word. So, and it writes the long form content for you. So this is my dashboard. There's a bunch of cool features here that I have, like my time saved, the cost savings. If I was to hire a writer at eight cents a word, the words I've generated. So to create a new article, a new blog, what we're going to do is go to projects and we're going to start a project. So I'm going to start a new project because we have another website coming up where I am going to write some content around the keyword web designer. So let's go ahead and get started. So the project name, we are just going to go ahead and put the name of that project. And I believe our domain, which is not built yet, is custom WordPress websites.com. And of course we can change that if we need to. Okay. So this website helps experts publish high quality brands online. And then you can put how many posts you want to publish with this site. For us, we're going to just say three to start. Our target audience is the business owner, entrepreneur, industry leader. So we're going to describe our site and then we're going to choose a tone of voice. So the tone that I've been testing is casual. I really like that tone, but for this one, I think I'm going to use another tone. We're going to be informative because we want to help people build great websites and we want to inform them on why that works. Okay, so you're going to start with a target keyword. And if you upload a CSV, it's going to take each keyword from that CSV as an individual article. So for me, whenever I do keyword research, one blog can equal so much because we do the long form style, right? One blog is phenomenal, can get us so far if it's comprehensive and well written. So I'm going to use one of my favorite tools, Mangle's Keyword Finder, to find the keyword for this tool. So that's their tool keyword finder in their app suite. And I'm going to look for a keyword around web design. This tool is around 30 bucks a month, highly worth it. We also have an affiliate link to this tool as well. One of the cheapest and best keyword research tools that I've found. Okay. So website design out of the question, the difficulty is way too high. You want to get under 40 in your keyword whenever you pick a good keyword to go after. So let's see web design and development, e-commerce website design. If I think about our clientele and what they would want to see, because you always want your keywords to be relevant. Let's see website design agency. So some of the interests that our clients have, their founders, entrepreneurs that are looking for, for, for full service. And let's see, that's a big question. Why do your websites convert? How do they convert? So we're going to look up those keywords and see if we can find anything there. Oh, I like this keyword, improve user experience. Let's see what ranks in the top of Google for that. And of course, keyword research is, an, is a whole art and science by itself, right? <laughs> so living in the tool, looking at your keywords, picking the right one is key here. So it looks like the intent of the pieces ranking 
is around website and design, which is good. I just wanted to validate that and look at the content that's ranking. So I'm gonna take that, that's a great keyword. And I'm gonna look at the top of Google and take some notes from this piece that's doing really well. And we're gonna direct Content at Scale to write us a blog around this keyword. So here's what that's gonna look like. Here's the target keyword, two to 3,000 words. And I'm going to look at the article that's ranking and see how we can do better and then direct the AI tool on how to do that. So let's see, seven ways to make your site more engaging, how to make your site more engaging. Okay, so that's the general direction we're gonna take here. Describe 10 ways to make a website more engaging, increase conversions using UX, brand design and copywriting. Okay, so what we're going to do is click create content now. And this piece will go in the queue to be created. And you're going to check back in a few minutes. So I will let you know how long this takes. And while we are waiting, I am going to go through this article that populated by the way, this one is around 2800 words. And it took about, I believe 10 to 15 minutes for it to populate and write. So I've been adding content to this because that's important. And what you want to add to the blogs that are written by this tool, what you want to add is personal experience and knowledge. So if this is content for a client, you need to interview your client or get with them to learn what makes them unique and what their voice is and how to incorporate that into this tool. So for us building a niche site at McCoy'sFarm.com, our goals are to get sales and affiliate backtrack. So we're going to make money through affiliate relationships. So in this blog, we're going to have all of the products that we use in the chicken yard. And then we're going to get with custom coop builders. We had people that built custom coops for our chickens and each kickback on that affiliate payout. If somebody goes and hires that coop builder could be hundreds of dollars. So this is the piece that it wrote. I love that it gives you a table of contents. Typically, you know, you don't get that. And that's something that you have to create yourself and hyperlink up. So this tool automatically creates that for you. And then it gives you the sections, the key takeaways in the form of click to tweets. And your job is to go through it, make sure it's all accurate, rewrite sections, add sections, and make sure you have all of your links. So for us, we're going to add in all of those affiliate products and we're going to be super detailed there. This is what it looks like. I love that you get features like the word count, paragraph totals. And then of course, over here, you get the optimization on page checklist. You get keywords, a list of them. You get what you're missing. I mean, this tool can replace tools like Surfer SEO and other tools where you have to create the brief. You have to put the content that you write through a secondary tool and make sure the keywords are there. So this tool can replace that, which is amazing. And you actually have a brief for the post. And let's say you add something up here, you add a new section, you can hit rerun post, you can also customize the brief, you can add sections, and then it'll create that within the article for you. So again, such a game changer, really shortens the process of having to type all of this out, hyperlink it all up within the WordPress blog. So can you take this directly in WordPress? The best part of this tool is that it has a WordPress plugin. So we went and downloaded it on our website. This is what it looks like. It'll show up as the content machine. And then you just need to put your API key in there, which let's go grab ours. So to grab that, you're going to go to your project. Let's go back to our projects. We're going to click the three little dots. We're going to click connect WordPress and then we're going to copy that API key and put that directly within our site verify and then it's connected. So then whenever you have this connected, you can manage it and have your content added to your website, which is crazy. Amazing. So let's check on the piece that's being written and see if it's ready yet. Okay, so it's been about 10 to 12 minutes and we have a blog for this keyword. So what you're going to do is again, once it populates, you're going to see it in projects, you're going to see this change from the queue to post created. 
And by the way, if you go to your settings within the projects here, you can do a lot of cool stuff like change the tone of voice again, put a new project URL here, look at post statuses. You can mash this up to WordPress, which it already does. You can write CTAs for the intro and the conclusion. And then you can turn off whether you want it to create a click to tweet or not. So for this one, we're not going to have click to tweet as a plugin for the site. So I'm going to hit save on that. And we're going to take a look at the blog that this tool created. Again, it's so simple. I love the usability of this. So we're going to click edit here. That'll open it up for us and we get to see the piece. So it wrote a 2100 word piece. We even have a meta up here, which is pretty dang good. If you read it, discover 10 ways to improve user experience, increase conversions and gain more sales. I like that it actually used my sentence that I gave it because my sentence was original and unique. And then it says, unlock the secrets of successful websites today. That's actually really dang good, which excites me. I've been looking for an AI writing tool and a lot of them are not that good. Let's just face it. You know, like if you go back to what ChatGPT wrote for me, it's so blase. There's nothing exciting written here, right? And you can tell it, like write this in the tone and voice of insert funny person or movie character. And it can adapt, but there's nothing I've seen that comes close to the ability of how this tool content at scale writes. So from here, what we want to do is make the tool better, right? Before we take it into WordPress using our plugin. So we want to go through it, make sure it reads well, link up all of the facts, and then you can actually hit this blue button save down here as you write. So it's almost like you're working in Word but it tracks everything, right? According to projects, which by the way, hello, if you have an agency and you write content, wow, this is amazing. But again, do not let this tool just write the content for you and you take that content and publish it because what you're going to do is publish so-so content. And that's not what we ever want to do. We want to publish great content. So one of the first things that I'm doing to check on this tool is actually taking all of this content and running it through an originality checker. This is something you want to do no matter what the tool is that you use, because if your content comes through as not able to pass the AI detector, it will never rank in Google. Google has bought detectors now. So you can use several tools. One is originality.ai, but content at scale has their own free tool that allows you to do this. So let's use it content at scale.ai. And then you're just going to click content AI content detector. You're going to copy and paste this whole thing. And then you're going to click check for AI content. And over here, you're going to see the human content score of this piece is a hundred percent. And what's amazing is, you know, if we were to paste in something that chat GPT wrote, you know, one of the multiple problems with chat GPT is that you're not going to get a hundred percent human. In fact, you're not going to get close. So it's actually 0% real and a hundred percent fake. So this would need a ton of work, a ton of work if we were to make it a blog or even a landing page, but the piece that content at scale written, uh, the piece that content at scale wrote for us doesn't need that level of work. It just needs fine tuning and updates. So what we're going to do is go through this, you know, we're going to make it grammatically correct. We're going to add Oxford commas. We're going to break it up a little bit more. And if you have existing content on your site, you always want to link to it, right? So we might link to another blog that we wrote or a web page. So going through this and editing it typically has been taking me about an hour, depending on the type of content it is. So we could say, are you a brand owner serious about making, we're going to name our audience. And then we might say this year. So we're just going to add flow, tone and voice to it. And then we're going to fact check it and make it correct. So that's something again, takes me about an hour to do. And then we have publish ready content that we can actually take with the WordPress plugin directly to our site, which is amazing. 
So how do you get this live in your WordPress account? By default, it's not going to show in post until we change a setting. What is that setting? We need to have it to say pending editing. And if you don't see that in this drop down right here, um, you're going to go to projects and you're going to go inside the settings and then you're going to look for that tag down here. So I don't see it. So we're going to hit pending editing. We're going to put that here. And then we're going to go ahead and save it. Top right blue button. Once that saves, then we can go into that post and change the status. So make sure you do that. So we're going to hit pending editing. We're going to hit update and then it should show in the back end of WordPress. Again, if you are hooked up correctly, you have that API key, which we also showed you how to do that. Um, so you want to give it a few minutes. So I would come back to this in 10 minutes or so, and then look for it in the back end of the post, um, because that can take some time. Oh my gosh, look, it's right here. <laughs> That's amazing. It's already here. Like that happened in seconds. So there you go, how to add it in WordPress.